Hey guys, Chad Trofgerben here from IncredibleFlashTutorials.com and today I'm going to demonstrate on how to make an object transparent in Flash. Now this question has been asked of me a couple of times and that is how do you make stuff transparent in Flash? Well, it's actually really easy to do and so I'm just going to go ahead and go through the steps really quick and show you how it's done. The first thing you need is an object on the stage that you intend to make transparent. And you need to convert that object to a symbol. And I have already done that here. My ghost I have sitting here is a symbol. And it doesn't matter if it's a graphic or a movie clip, just as long as it is a symbol. So okay, you have your object on the screen and it's a symbol. The next thing you need to do is click on the symbol that you have just created and then go to your properties box. And if you go down on your properties box, you'll find a section called color effect. And there will be a drop down menu next to it that says style. So if you go ahead and click this drop down menu, you have a few options here that you can choose from. We want to choose the alpha option. So go all the way down to the bottom and click alpha. Once you do this, you'll have the ability then to tweak how transparent you want your object to be. And you can see already that it's already a little bit transparent. But if we come down here to this um, little switch down here and we can move this back and forth, the further back we move it, the more transparent the ghost becomes. And the more uh, forward we move it, the more uh, opaque it becomes. And so this is actually something you can adjust and you can decide where you want it to be. So we can put it, well, let's say at about 60%. And again, if we come over here to our object and we just kind of click and move this around, you can see that we can see the moon and the stars and the sky all behind the ghost because it is now slightly transparent. And there you go. That's all there really is to it. It's a very simple procedure and at the same time, it can create some really cool effects for your movies. Well, that's about it. If you'd like to see more tutorials, just go ahead and check out my website. And if you have any ideas for tutorials that you would like to see, go ahead and drop me an email. You can contact me right on my website. Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.